All right, I got a little issue here. My battery, my battery right here is frozen onto the frame. Let me show you. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Look at that ice froze to the frame right over here. So, so look at that, it's frozen and I can't take the battery off. Looks like I got to uh, get a hair dryer and blow it off. All right, everyone, I'm, I'm back. I uh, I did go underneath the uh, overpass. I walked most of it because I was slipping on the ice, and you know, I rather I value my life over a stu a video. A video, you know. Ugh, I'm gonna go pedal this far in gear one. Uh, I was slipping, mostly because of the ice. Overshot. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Okay. I had my leg on the ground, I stopped pedaling, and I throttled. It's icy here. I know that it's icy here. Oh! Oh! Woo. There you go, you saw it! <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk. It is icy. And not only is it icy, it's starting to melt, making it very slick. Wow. So, it doesn't matter. All wheel drive, no wheel drive, it doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't care, it doesn't matter. You have a fat bike, a skinny bike, right here. It's melted and it's cold, it ices over, it melts, it ices over. Now it's it's very slippery. I'm walking the bike. I'm walking the bike. And good thing I didn't I didn't go fast. You can hear the ice cracking. It doesn't matter what you have. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't going that fast. I was on a pedal. I was on a little higher pedal assist, but still, I was on gear one. I wasn't going that fast. It just started sliding underneath me. I'll go a little bit, a little bit faster. Get on pedal assist three. So it doesn't matter. All wheel drive, no wheel drive, fat, fat tire. Doesn't even matter what kind of tire you have. Yes. There is ice on the road, okay, if there's ice on the road, you will slip. Now, maybe if you had studded tires, maybe if you, had, if you have studded tires, maybe, maybe you wouldn't have slipped, but I don't think it matters. Now, I enjoy riding the bike out here today, but I, now, and this is the first time I've ever ridden my Red power bike and in these kind of conditions in this kind of weather. But I'm smart enough to know I'm smart enough to know and realize that there is inherent danger in riding in cold weather. Okay, there's inherent danger. And it doesn't matter, you have an all wheel drive you have fat tires, the, you have a front hub motor, you have a rear hub motor, it doesn't matter. You're going to fall, you're going to slip. So when I rode today, my anticipation was, okay, I am going to fall. But 
because I know I'm going to fall, I don't ride really fast. I don't ride very aggressively. I ride very conservatively, <laughs> conservatively, conservatively. And if I see something that looks like there's a, a slightest chance for me to slip, I slow down, I coast, I, I'll use the throttle, okay? Like, like, I'll use the throttle, but I'll have one leg down. I'll have one leg off the pedal, like, ready for me to fall, either left or right, because I, I don't want to be, I don't want my foot stuck on the, the, on the pedal. So, so, when you ride in these kind of conditions, your thinking should be that you're going to fall. There, it's a guarantee you're going to fall. So, because you're going to fall, ride like you're going to fall and what you'll find is you'll go slower when you do fall it's just like uh it's, it's just like falling from standing still you might hurt yourself but it's nothing compared nothing compared to slippery right here there's a little ice It's, it's nothing compared to if you're going 20, 30 miles an hour and you just swipe, you get swiped and you fall. Matter of fact, right now it's probably the worst time for me to ride because the ice is melted from the sun. All right, the ice is melted from the sun, direct sun, but it's being frozen over again because of the freezing temperature. So it's, 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 it's thawing and then freezing, thawing and freezing. And it becomes like a, a very slick, slick surface. Sometimes if it's wet, it makes it even worse because it's even more slippery. So yeah, don't fool yourself, people. All wheel drive is, gives you a false sense of security that you can ride in wet or snowy or cold conditions. I think it's very dangerous for for people to like even like perpetuate this myth. Okay, I, I, I've ridden it in, I, I can say I've ridden it in snow in cold weather and I can tell you what what worked for me was uh, a low pedal assist and a low gear and going slow and constantly be prepared to take a fall. If you're prepared to take a fall, you'll always ride with one foot down and you'll and use the throttle to like get you push you to push you through it. Not very hard, but how you just roll over through it because you're not gonna be pedaling with one foot <laughs> sticking out, you know, one foot sticking out. You're not gonna have you pedaling, so you need the throttle to, to kind of get you there. So always be ready to dump your bike or, or get off your bike. That's that's all I have to say is just get ready to get off your bike. So you know don't don't waste your time or money on all-wheel drive bikes, all-wheel electric drive bikes, because it's not going to help you. It's probably gonna give you a false sense of security, a, a false sense of security, and uh, you're, you're going to end up injuring yourself, in my opinion. And I've already injured myself. I already broke my hand on a normal day, on a, on a, on a very warm day riding this bike. You know, if you try to ride it on a cold day thinking, I got all-wheel drive, it's not going to help you. Uh, and, and the other thing pedal assist is good for is when you have headwind. Like in, in colder weather, you're going to have headwind, <laughs> all right? And you just need something to offset the headwind. That's what the pedal assist is for. You're not going any faster, okay? I, I'm not going, I don't have any plans of going any faster. I'm going to tell you that right now. Whew. My buff is freezing. <laughs> My buff is freezing on me. I have all the... <laughs> I have a lot of moisture as I'm talking, and 
and also uh, I got a lot of snot running down my nose. I'm gonna watch out for this guy. Okay, it's warm. It's, it's, this is the warmest part of the day. It's still freezing, but you know what can happen, like I told you, is that the ice, <laughs> the snow melts or the ice melts and freezes, melts, freezes, and then you get a very slick ice sheet. Woo! Very lucky, very lucky. Anyway, uh, oh, here's some ice right here. Anyways, I'm going to stop somewhere. I'm going to end the video. I don't have too much battery life. I want to preserve some of the battery life and I'll make my way home. I just wanted to talk about that because now that I've ridden in snow, this is my first time. I don't get snow that often. Now I know what it's like. And, and really, if you have a, rear, a single drive, bicycle, rear wheel hub motor, or just one <laughs> one motor on your bicycle, that's all you need. I think having a uh, front wheel drive is a big mistake. You're going to spin out. I think it gives you a false sense of security. It's not any better. The all wheel drive does not make you any better from falling. You will fall. It's how you ride. Anticipation of falling, being ready you fall or, or to be ready to dump the bike but you want to go on a slow you want to ride slow you don't want to ride fast because you dump the bike when you're riding 20 miles an hour you, that's you, you're going to get injured there's no doubt about it and and the conditions that you ride it's it's different look at all the stuff i'm wearing just to stay comfortable but if you're riding and you got your motor skills man you, you you need your motor skill. Keep your hands warm. It's just simple stuff like that. I mean, it's, but but I, I think people who, who are trying to push the all-wheel drive or the front-wheel drive or both-wheel drive, I, I, I think that's a mistake. You know, I think it's a gimmick. I'm pretty sure it's a gimmick, actually, because uh, for me riding right now, I don't see how a front wheel drive would have helped me. I think, if, if anything, it would have made it worse. I would have been spinning out. I'm pretty sure I would have been spinning out because it's about how you balance on, on the bike, where you shift your weight. And, uh, you know, the front wheel changes the dynamics of, of, the front wheel drive will change the dynamics of how you ride the bike. It's not, if you, I guess it's possible with practice, you can do anything. But in my opinion, I, I think it's, it gives you a false sense of security. That's just my opinion. Anyways, I'm headed home. I'm headed home. I, I, I had a great day riding. I'm going to ride again tomorrow. Just because I don't get... See, this is a novelty for me, all right? If I lived in these conditions, I probably would not ride my bicycle. I would choose not to ride my bicycle. But because I don't get a lot of snow, okay, I don't get a lot of snow, it changes the riding, all right? It, it changes the way you ride. It's fun for me, okay? But if I had to do this for three to six months out of the year, I would I would not ride, all right? I, I would try to ride on the most warmest day where there's very little snow. Those are the days that I would ride. Probably, probably similar to these conditions. But, but if it was snowing, forget it. I'm not riding the bike because I know that there's ice on the road and uh, it's dangerous. You're going to fall. You will injure yourself by going fast and you will fall from the ice. Doesn't matter if you have all wheel drive, studded tires, fat tires. What, it doesn't matter what kind of tires you have or what bike you have, you will fall. You will fall, I guarantee it. I, I can guarantee here. Okay, this, this is an overpass, has a lot of ice on it. Uh, let's see how it fares. Uh, I'm, I'm about ready to take a fall. All 
All right. I uh All right, I made it back in one piece. Thank goodness. Oh. It's cold. It's still snowing. I'll show you around. Oh yeah. I had to uh that's my water system, water filter system outside. I had to do that. Oh, look at these icicles. Oh yeah. Disconnected the hose. Disconnected the hose. It snowed in here. There's the bike. And uh, let's take a look at the, oh gosh, look at all that. Wow, look at that bottom bracket frozen over. Look at this one, frozen hard to the front fender. And look at this one. This thing's frozen solid, frozen solid. Let's look at the back. Uh, that's not too bad. Anyways, we'll try to, uh, I'll try to, uh, I'll try to, uh, Write some more here. I'll try some write some more maybe maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Anyways, I had fun. I'm ready to go home. I'm gonna have some hot chocolate. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye. Alright, got it done. Ooh. Battery's off. Another challenge. I'm no I don't know what I'm gonna do for tomorrow, but uh anyways. Maybe I'm not gonna ride tomorrow. Anyways, bye.